Hello Aquarius, it looks like November is going to be a very busy month with some volatility, but definitely some progress as well, especially in terms of career. So before I get into all of the astrology, I want to give you a big warm welcome. If you're brand new here, my name is Maria De Simone. I am a professional astrologer and you can find out more about me and my work over at insightfulastrology.com. If you're back, welcome back. It's great to see you. A quick reminder that if you are interested in your 2024 special year ahead forecast, they are available for purchase over at insightfulastrology.com. My horoscopes are very thorough. I get to the point and I talk about what is most relevant for you based on your sun sign and your rising sign for the next year. It is an on-demand forecast. You can uh, you'll have it for the whole year. You can rewind and go and track your year. And it's very helpful to really use the very best of what the cycles are showing for you. And so I'll go and check it out at my website. Now, let's talk about November. We begin the month in a very mild way, actually. On the 8th, Venus, the planet of love and harmony, will enter your ninth house. The ninth house is all about academic pursuits, spiritual advancement, and expansion in general. And Venus in this part of your chart stays until December 4th. So you're going to make a lot of progress learning something that you love, that you genuinely love. You are enjoying this process, the journey, uh, that magic carpet ride that brings wisdom. You're just embracing all of it. So this could be a spiritual topic that you're learning more about, but it could be academic as well. If you are single, this could be a transit where you meet someone who is of a faith or culture or background unique from yours in some way, and the romance gets off the ground because of the differences. It is the differences that you have that become the attracting force. So that's another possibility. Now, on the 13th, we have a new moon in Scorpio, which lands at the top of your chart, your career sector. And by itself, this new moon is saying, hey, Aquarius, I want to give you a new beginning in career, in your advancement, opportunity-wise. But I have to say this is one unpredictable, volatile new moon. Because from the 11th through the 13th, both the Sun and Mars, which are at the top of your chart, are going to oppose the planet Uranus, which is in your home and family sector. Uranus brings unpredictable events. It brings chaos and disruption when it is in a difficult aspect in the sky. And this new moon, plus the fact that Mars will be opposite Uranus, it's like an accident prone energy. And you have to apply that theme to your home and family life and your career sector. So what this could look like for you is just when you see this amazing opportunity to advance yourself professionally, Somebody does something at home. There is an unexpected crisis, a fire you've got to put out. And you're really pissed off about this because that's not where you want to direct your energy and attention. You want to direct all of your energy and attention in career and with this career advancement opportunity. But you're going to be distracted. You're going to be pulled in two different directions for a few days. There is this new beginning. There is this, okay, you could apply for this promotion. You could start this business. You can start this new goal energy that is available to you. But the pull of Uranus and the unexpected curveball in your family life is going to be aggravating. And so you will have to navigate that. But you will. It only lasts a couple of days. So hang in there. Then as the month moves forward, Mars will enter Sagittarius and Mars is going to move into your friendship sector on the 24th and stays there for a few weeks. When Mars is in your 11th house, there is a lot of energy for social advancement, maybe even social climbing. You might be proactively pursuing relationships that can get you ahead in your life in some way. Another possibility is that you are really at your wit's end with one friend in particular, and this could become a conflict. You and a friend might part ways. You just might hash it out. You're going to be very vocal about what it is that you're not happy about with this friend or with this friendship. And the other way that Mars in the 11th house can work out is that you are going to really want to become proactive about a humanitarian endeavor some kind of group community goal 
that allows you to make a difference. And you're going to inspire a large group of people to go ahead and do something and make a difference with you. And that's a beautiful way to use this Mars 11th house energy. So Aquarius, you can absolutely be the change with Mars in your 11th house. So go for it. Finally, we're going to wind down the month with another tricky lunation. This is a full moon in Gemini on the 27th, and the full moon will land in your fifth house of children, romance, pleasure. This full moon does symbolize a difficult situation, possibly an ending. So let's talk about it with children and then with love. If it's love, if you've already been dating someone, you may find out that this person has not been representing him or herself in a correct way. And you'll be very disappointed and you'll just let the relationship go because you're not going to be interested in the lies and the bullshit. So you might be ending that romance. You may also find out that the person that you're dating is battling a crisis, an unhealthy escape pattern, an addiction, something difficult. And then it's going to become your call as to whether or not you stay the course in this relationship and try to help the person, or if you realize the person's not in a place for love and relationship right now because they're battling too many other demons. The other way this could work out is with children. You may find out that there is a, a big unexpected expense connected to one of your kids because Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, will be in your fifth house, squaring Neptune in your second house of income. And so it could be that your kids need something from you. It could be just a big extracurricular activity expense. It could be a bigger crisis that costs you money, a health situation even. So you may be finding out that you have to deal with that. And depending on the age that your child is, of course, you have to you have to adjust this accordingly. It's going to be different for a two-year-old and it's going to be very different for a 32-year-old child that you might have. So there could be a crisis in the life of your child with this full moon. And it's going to have to be addressed. But it's only a full moon. It's not an eclipse. It's going to last a couple of days and then you're going to move on with your life. All right, so Aquarius, that's what I've got for you. Uh, if this is about a creative project, it, you're going to be very upset to find out that it's going to cost you a lot more money to get this launched than you anticipated. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you in November, and I will see you next month.